So, we'll go to LED Lab. So, LED Lab is a program where it allows you to control um, from your iPad um, large grids, um, your tree or whatever. Um, it allows you to control in real time. So, you can sit out in front of the tree and you can play with it and th things like that. It also has music inputs, so you can sit it next to your music and you can make your tree dance to the music. Um, so there's quite a bunch of good features to this. You can create your own effects and things like that. So what I've got is just a bunch of effects that have already sort of been made here. So I can just click on that one and I can shrink that in real time if I want, move that. So in a grid, that would be happening real time as I do it. Um, there's a whole different way to control this, so I can go to uh, display, I'm going to go to editing, so we'll go to editing, so now it opens up a window here, so now I can modify that, I can um, slow that down, see I'll just move this dial here, slow the direction down, I can uh, change different parameters, um, allows you a lot of power, so what we've got is colouring, motion and geometry, you can put in video, so I can actually use the camera from this and have live feed to my grid or my tree or whatever as well at the same time. Um, so it's, it's a very powerful little program that allows, you know, it's, it, I, I sort of say it's matrix kind of power, but, it, you know, basically in, a, um, in an iPad. Um, the only issue is it doesn't run E1.3 run, it runs ArtNet. But ArtNet, most of the controllers, the J1 Sys and the, you know, all the, most of the controllers, they actually do support ArtNet as well. So it's not really a problem. But this allows you to sort of really take sort of, uh, you know, a display element like your Christmas tree and turn it into something interactive. So we've got some interactive effects. So I'll have a look what I've got here. See if I can find one that I've created. So I can grab that and move that around live if I want. I can make it make it larger by just pinching. So it's, it's very easy to control and, and do what you want with. Um, it's quite a simple program. I can drag that in there. Now I've got that there. I can uh, rotate where I want it to be and make the size I want by pinching it. I can go to, uh, to uh, colouring. I can say, okay, I want now that to be colour, and I want the wheel. I want it to change colour as it goes. So I've just changed this dial here. So now that umbrella is the way I want it to be. I can go to motion, and I can change parameters here. So now it's bouncing up and down. So now it's moving around. So, and I can go to geometry, I can make it go in and out. So it allows us to do a lot of things with our, with, um, just by touching things, without actually having to use a keyboard, without having to use a mouse. It's a very powerful piece of software um, for the iPad. Um, you know, it's just something that sort of adds to our tools of uh, things that we can do. So, you know, some, some of you guys might want, you know, interactive elements within your, within your display. This is an easy way to create an, an interactive element within your display. Um, by just using basically uh, this tool and having it, you know, at the front, you, can, you know, we can um, we can have an effect. So I can uh, let me get another effect going. So I've just got to find one that I've had set up before that allows me. Some of these will allow me to actually um, rub my finger across and change the way the effect looks. So there we go, I can just run my finger up and down there and that will happen live time on your, on your grid or your tree or whatever. So it allows you to basically have live control on your thing, so that's how you sort of make your effects. So there's two, two different types of ways you can make effects. You can just make it so it's a grid um, and then it just makes ge um, geometry kind of effects. Or we can use what they call... Um, Image, image. Um, so you can throw images in there. Um, you can overlay one image over the other. You can overlay um, this, this um, geometry over images. Basically, allows you to do basically what your imagination wants as far as um, effects and control. 
So I, I, I use this quite a bit. I find it quite a powerful little tool. Um, and it said it's it's free. It's, it's actually a free demo, so it's free to download. Um, and it's um, it's in app purchases. So for the full version, which includes you know the ability to make all your own effects, this that and the other, is I think about one hundred and eighty dollars US. So really not that expensive for what it is. But if you just wanted output and just use the default effects, or just make some effects which aren't which you can't save, um, it's I think it's only thirty dollars for output. So it's quite quite a cheap bit of software for what it does. Um, and it said you know it uh, allows people to really sort of take control of what they want to sort of do with interactivity and uh, creating effects. Just a different way to sort of create effects. And so you know you can say okay I've created an effect I like this. I can go and say okay I'm going to go and go screen kid and I've got all those effects here that I've created I can select any of those at any time I can then go and play and so I can set how long I want each effect to play for um, I can set how I want the effect to then come in does it crossfade with the other effect um, or does it sort of just jump straight in or or bounce between the two as it comes in so um, quite a lot of ways to sort of, you know, just by using an iPad and not even having to use a computer, um, that you can actually, you know, generate effects. So, uh, just thought I'd show you guys that. I thought it was just something different that I think a lot of guys haven't seen before, this uh, piece of software. Um, but it's called LED Lab, and it's for the iPad. Um, so the iPad will allow you to edit. Um, you can control it through your iPhone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but you can only play, you can't edit. Yeah, you can't edit or configure anything and so you can configure yep. on your iPad and then play it on your phone. Yep. So it allows you to email as well, um, effects and things like that to people and things like that. So it's a very powerful piece of software. There's actually supposed to be another um, app coming out for this, which I don't know if it's still coming or not, uh, but I did see the early prototype of it. And what it was was um, a mapping tool, which allowed you to take a photograph of your lighting as you then lit up each pixel and then it will map a, a um, object so what they had basically was a bunch of um, strip that was just bundled up together so try to map that to have a chase across nice and even virtually impossible well this guy had this ball of just strip light there and it just had perfect imagery going across back and forth and things like that because it was actually mapped in by taking photographs so it knew where every pixel was located within that so you know that's just some of the future ways that um, people are working on to make sequencing easier and, and using your, your, your um, things like iPads and things like that so you know we don't have to use computers and things like that we can actually have live control of our elements and uh, interactivity so I just thought I'd just show that and uh, really discuss does, uh, does interact with uh, audio as well yes so you yep I had a, I had a, my phone was connected to Bluetooth speaker Yep. 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 So, um, the way I've used it is I use so many of them have uh, wireless controllers, so I can connect directly to it. Or if I'm using my uh, the the network controller, I just use a wireless router, just connected through because it's all IP based. So just connect to a wireless router, and then this connects to the wireless router, which connects to the um, the address of your controller. I actually did a job in um, New Zealand um, at the Sky City Casino, which was a big grid of lights, and they could actually sit underneath it and just control that whole grid with with, the, with an iPad live you know, at the time. So you know, it's just a lot of ways we can sort of you know use this kind of tool. It's it's a very nice little tool to have. Something different. Well,